The research we're talking about is from the University of California, San Francisco. The study looked at 32,000 adults who self-reported whether they were lung disease free in 2013. Researchers followed up in 2016 and tracked who was smoke free, who smoked cigarettes, who began vaping, and those who used both. They then looked at who had since developed a chronic lung disease. Here are the specific findings. People who vaped had about a 30% higher risk of getting a chronic lung disease than non-users. When talking about cigarette smokers, they were much worse off, having a two and a half times higher risk of developing lung disease. People who used both vapes and cigarettes had a 3.3 times higher risk. But there are questions about how the study was conducted. It did not require a new medical screening and did not consider how often a respondent smoked or vaped. And the main author admits three years isn't a long time to follow vapors, considering many were smokers previously, which could add to their risk of getting lung disease. One final but important clarification. The illnesses described in this research are different from that recent spike in vaping related illnesses we've seen across the country. Well, the State Department of Health continues to track those vaping related illnesses that are being called Ivali. Last week, the state listed uh, 113 cases of vaping related lung injury here in North Texas.